Okay, so just adding them on live right now. Well, it's great to hear that, Taki, that you are fine. Okay. Hello? Yeah. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm great, sir. You look great. The farm fine there with all the headphones ready. It's too good out there. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's beautiful. So are actually. you there in your farm where uh, you grow the palash trees or something? Like, are you in your workspace yes, or something? Yes, yes of course. Okay. Um, of Great. course, uh, you can see the the palash tree which is coming. Uh, palash trees. Okay. Oh, great, sir. Great. Wow. All right, then I guess, uh, guys, we're just going to have the live somewhere in the farm out there, and that's the best part of today is so you. So, yeah, true, sir. True. So, without, yeah, I can see that. Wow. True, sir. That's what we're here to know about what exactly it is. Now we really uh, do that. So a uh, fine good evening to everyone out here and welcome to my live series on the hashtag interact live which they are out there today and today here we have with us uh, Mr. Venu Gopal Rao and the topic today is the interception and enthralling journey of Vistarapur. Sir, you don't mind giving me a short introduction to all the followers out there? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Everyone. Okay. So, yes, sir. Yeah. Can I go ahead? Yeah, yeah. So I'll just give a short introduction and then we start off with uh, today's sure. live. So sure. shall, shall we go with that? Okay. Uh, so moving on with today's series of well uh, sessions, guys. Today we have with us uh, Mr. Venu Gopal Rao uh, as an organic farmer and social entrepreneur from Vistaraku, and uh, he is a postgraduate in mechanical engineering in uh, tool dye and mold design with 26 plus years of experience in corporate world across many countries and multinational companies out there. He holds an experience in business development, delivery and operations management in India, APSE and the United States. He is currently an organic farmer focusing on mango cultivation and vegetables. He runs a social enterprise, Mandala, which, is, which makes biodegradable leaf plates, which is none other than today's Vistaraku, what we are going to discuss to empower rural women in Siddipet, Telangana. So I welcome you to my live session today again, sir. And it's great to have you today and uh, a tour of your uh, workspace out there. Thank you, Shreyas. Thank you very much. And uh, good yes, evening, sir. everyone. Good evening, everyone. So this is our small journey we started. You know, just I'm just showing our factory, uh, the machines what no. we have. Okay. okay. So this is called as the, the pasting machine. And that's called as the okay. cutting machine. And these are the hydraulic oh. presses uh, where we actually oh. make different sizes. This particular die, okay. if you look at it, it is a four and a half inch ball we make. And here mm -hmm. a 10 inch uh, breakfast plate. Okay. Here mm -hmm. 12 inch okay. buffet plate. Okay. Here a 30 inch plate. So similarly, like this, we have uh, eight machines, you know, and uh, we use the, uh, the cardboard as another material. And this is the Actually, the the Vistraku. Yeah, this true. Is the, okay, so that's what I was really waiting to see for today. <laughs> that's what came my day. Okay. So the final. I guess you got a lot of uh, deliveries out there, sir, in this quarantine as well. I'm proud to see that. Yes, yes. So this is our Vistraku brand, and this is. Oh, okay. So this okay, is the leaf plate. plates and bones, 25 plates. Okay, I've seen this on Instagram on the post, but I'm very lucky to see that on live with you. And thanks for showing me, sir. It's uh, really great on that fact. It's a pleasure. True. It's a pleasure. Yes. Yes, sir. So shall we start off with today's conversation and then we Absolutely. go on a little with the, the products, if uh, you don't mind. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So how, before that, how did you, how's the quarantine going and how's the weather out there in Telangana? I mean, your place. Uh, my place, actually, uh, uh, right now, the weather is really pleasant. Okay. Uh, okay. But today, it's very sultry, actually. Uh, oh, for the last, okay. uh, uh, Yeah. But uh, typically, what happens is, uh, till uh, 3 o'clock from, like, like say, from 12 to 3, it will be a little bit, little bit hot. But after that, you know, it becomes really cool, actually. True, in fact, true, even, very in much summers, even in summers, after 6 p.m., 
uh, it's becomes mm-hmm. really chill actually that's true sir but here in chennai don't expect that like i literally <laughs> am sweating in the room though we locked in four corners and we have a, a window out there but uh, i mean you are very lucky to be in one of the beautiful places out there and uh, your house really i would like to make a visit one day and it looks like a good farm out there so a weekend farm Absolutely. where people can really spend Absolutely. Not only the farm, you will get excellent, you know, veg food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, sir. Right. Okay. So yes. Oh, uh, shall we start off with today's uh, uh, topic? So as we know, all that today's topic is the inception and enthralling journey of Vistar Ku by Venu Gopal sir and his uh, wife. So I guess uh, I'll please say a hi to ma'am on my behalf, sir. I just spoke to her recently and. Uh, it was also glad i was very glad speaking to her and also it was my pleasure as well absolutely madhvi just say hello sure say hello to everyone hi i can hi ma'am how are you how are you shreyas i'm good ma'am i feel one thing i should really be in places where you guys really stay it's so good out there and uh, thanks for the journey by the way Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Very nice. We are learning a lot here. <laughs> Daily, it's oh, a learning wow. experience. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. So let's start off with the very first question for today, sir. So, whose brainchild is Vistarku, and why did you name it as Vistarku? And the real meaning of Vistarku? Never, because his name sounds quite unique to me, and uh, never heard it before. Yeah. See, first of all, uh, in Telugu, in Telugu language. Mm-hmm. uh we call uh uh there is a leaf called moduga leaf which called which we in uh, uh english we call it as a palash leaf which you have seen right okay. now so that okay. is the leaf uh, which is traditionally used in telangana okay. okay whenever there is a function or a festival okay mm-hmm. these leaves are stitched together when they are stitched to get stitched together like 7 to 10 10 uh, leaves together so that it becomes like a plate and that is called as vistaraku oh okay okay so when you assemble all these leaves when you stitch together together so that plate or the leaf which becomes you know is called as vistaraku oh wonderful okay so it's i pronounced in the uh, wrong way saying vistaraku but vistaraku means the leaves the aku means is a south indian word and uh, i really found it when you told it in the right way Yeah. True. So basically, we are basically uh, 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 spreading our, uh, you know, whatever the food content, you know, on this particular. Okay. Uh, so we are spreading. So we are. That's why it's called Vista. So we are basically, mm-hmm. you know, spreading the spreading our food items on this particular Aku. So Vista Aku. Oh, okay, right. So moving on to the very next question, sir. why did you select palash leaves for manufacturing the products and how do you really grow it that yeah see basically uh, we wanted to actually uh, uh, go for a first of all an eco friendly product number one okay, okay. that's the intention and uh, we did uh, almost 6 uh, months you know uh, sort of a you know exploration a journey you know um, in and okay. around actually what could be the best eco friendly product and which also should be the need of the, our product also which we are planning to do in our farm okay so when you say mm-hmm. when you want to do it in our farm then you know we said that you know this can empower the rural women yes okay so so the 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 objective is very clear one thing is we wanted to go with a eco friendly product number 1 Number two, okay. we want to empower the rural women. Okay. Okay. So yes. Uh, <clears throat> so that's the main reason. Uh, these were the two reasons, you know, with which you know we have uh, decided uh, to go with a eco-friendly product, which is compostable. And when you look okay. at the leaf, this leaf is available in Telangana, especially this is a Telangana leaf. Okay. okay and this particular leaf when you say palash is called as also palash leaf in english mm-hmm. 
and uh, this has got lot of uh, benefits in terms of the uh the the ayurvedic properties like it is antibacterial you know uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh then antiviral so whenever you put okay. the food into this particular onto this particular leaf you know the 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 food gets you know better in terms of uh, it it becomes more appetizing okay fine that's the thing and the important thing is basically the the main reason for uh, we uh, to go with this product is basically we would like to address the single use plastic okay, okay. so all over the country the single use plastic is banned whether it's plates or bowls or the glasses okay mm-hmm. so single use plastic is the biggest uh, menace across the world the oceans are being okay. filled with the single use plastic so we are also even you know uh, we are uh, spoiling the marine life in the ocean mm. okay so we wanted to address in a small way how that can be replaced with a product which is eco friendly and which is biodegradable and which is compostable okay so that has led to you know basically getting into this particular product wonderful sir so uh, like how old this uh, company is vistaraku like uh, how how old just, it is this is, this is just a one year old uh, uh, okay. micro scale company okay right. we have so under msme yeah. okay we, we started last year february mhm okay and uh, the journey uh, was not very smooth in terms of uh, uh, the production okay uh we had many challenges with respect to the the machines what we purchased okay so being a mechanical engineer i had an advantage to repair all those machines by myself and get them going mm-hmm. okay wonderful great sir like uh, having that talent in different fields is making you utilize in something and you're really doing a great job that we are trying to when we say that the oath that global warming is happening today in a country one small part you are playing Uh, by Vistaruku and uh, hands off salute to that. So moving on with that, like uh, how many employees work in Vistaruku and uh, how was your early life in the United States? When I really went through your website, I believe that you were from the US and then you came down to uh, Sydney. Absolutely. Yes. See, when I look at my, I quickly uh, uh, give my background. Uh, as a mechanical okay. engineer, I started my career uh, uh, with Titan watches. Okay. okay in 89 in 89 in hosur i joined as a trainee design engineer in the tool room mm-hmm. and from there you know i i came back to hyderabad uh, worked with a company called omc computers from there pcl computers then finally i joined a company called ptc parametric technology corporation in pune okay, okay. basically they uh, they are the developers for the a product called pro engineer which is a cad cam software Hmm. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, and from there the journey from there after working five years in Pune, then you know I was moved to handle the Asia Park. So I was moved to basically Bangkok. So I was in Bangkok for two years. From then I was uh, then moved for one year to Malaysia. After that I was very curious what's happening in US. Then that's the reason you know I moved to US. You know first for nine months I was in Atlanta. Then I was moved to you know Bay Area in California. so i worked with them mm-hmm. two companies okay. uh, where i was designing the the test sockets for the the chip testing okay designing so in fact all the the so called pentium chips all the variations of the pentium chips are all tested in the test sockets what i have designed by intel okay and uh, yes, intel has uh, awarded me for my designs intel chandler phoenix oh wonderful so after right. that after working for around about 7 years in us then we moved to we moved back to india basically our kids were you know in third and fourth standard at that point of time and we wanted to bring them we came back to bring them in our culture that's the main reason true that's so great sir about you and uh, may i know where you are located in telangana i've heard of hyderabad in varangal i'm not really into bad is siddhi pet i mean where you are really located yeah see we are on about uh, on about 90 kilometers away from hyderabad uh, okay i think uh, it is towards the northern part of siddhi uh, hyderabad okay northern side of hyderabad as i as i am i think i'm correct on that so uh, mm-hmm. this comes from the siddhi pet district 
and oh, the village okay. and the village name is called as timaridipalli village and the mandal is called kondapaka mandal so our okay. farm basically our farm is basically it is just uh, you know uh, 100 meters away from the main highway oh okay so it, it's it's very much accessible accessible you know uh, for everyone you know to come and visit true so your house is also located i mean your residence of there as well exactly we have uh, you know this is the total uh, uh, the shed of istaraku okay right uh, this is a 60 by 40 shed 60 feet by 40 okay. shed and uh, this is where we have established istaraku okay. okay and inside that we have built the temporary rooms where we stay so for the last uh, year from the last one year we are staying mm-hmm. in the farm itself uh taking care of istaraku production as well as uh, the farming wonderful sir so it really feels the environment feels like i mean far away from the city and uh, staying away is a very i mean the journey is quite different out there and also i mean the environment when it comes to nature getting connected with us is something very beautiful so i really love the place and thanks for showing me and being a part of this so sure. moving on so when it comes to today uh, in the 21st century okay we have this the emper- uh, empowering of rural, rural women today all the yes. top uh, united nations and uh, when it comes to un women are involved in it by connecting different seminars at national level and district levels so how do you really motivate them in vistarak see first of all uh, shreyas see uh, everybody yes, should uh, understand that today uh, for employment every person is moving yes. towards this okay right so so basically that means we are only focusing the urban areas the industries are okay. developed only just in and around the urban areas fine right so but when we whatever the whatever the uh, programs uh, government is making okay whatever mm-hmm. the programs the private companies are making basically as long as your factories your companies are within the city or just in their own city you know you cannot empower the rural women see basically we need to understand the the realities of a rural woman what is rural woman rural woman typically gets educated either they will be 10th passed or intermediate passed or degree passed okay yes, even sir. if they, even if they do the post graduation okay because what happens is uh, the parents won't allow them to send for the education to other city correct okay they don't they don't want the the girl child to go out of the village and get educated whatever the correct. school system or the the uh, the other higher education system if it is available very close they will send otherwise their studies will be stopped now when you look at the percentage of the rural women in terms of education most of most of them are at least 10th passed or intermediate passed or failed yes. now these are basically typically uh, they are very intelligent girls but you know what kind of work these girls can do so when you look at that typically what is with this especially in ap and telangana there are a lot of raitu bandhu programs where the rural women the uneducated women they go for work which is given by the government whereas okay. these educated girls they don't want to do that labor work so hmm. how do you really empower them see the parents won't allow them to go to cities number one even they come to city what kind of salaries they'll get so that they can survive on their own it's very difficult so the True. solution actually if you want to really empower rural women with the right intention you have to bring all the msme sector industries with the micro scale or small scale or medium scale sector industries they have to come towards the villages so that True. you know so that the rural women can come in the morning and can go in the evening so for example okay. this is the ideal situation where what we are having is as vistaraku company you know they are just half a kilometer away from my company okay so they all come so happily you know and the parents are so comfortable in sending their kids you know because they are girls you know 
they are little bit uh, you know uh, uh, they 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 feel little bit insecure to send the girls right. very far okay so as long as is within a kilometer or 2 kilometers or 3 kilometers you know these girls can be these rural women educated rural women can be empowered you know and these girls are very smart whatever the training you give they can really you know grasp very fast and they can really you know can become the pillars for the specially for the msme industry right sir that's absolutely true right so you are really doing a great job in creating a space for all these uh, young women out there uh, saying that today we all are being uh, uh, what do you say being stuck by a wall of many difficulties and obstacles in the real world that is something you are creating opportunity for them through vistarako so but uh, how many uh, women do really work with you like how many employees do you have and uh, have how does the production 10... really work yeah so we have right now 10 women employees okay okay Uh, and uh, most all of them are uh, uh, intermediate passed out okay mm-hmm. and uh, uh, in terms of production capacity wise we can produce 10000 plates per day okay we can produce 10000 plates per day but at this point of time we are making around about 4 to 5000 plates per day because uh, it all depends upon the you know demand yes so you know we do, so we don't want to produce uh, too much and you know keep too much of stock right okay so uh, i and the another important thing shreyas it's very interesting that you know most of them in the city they want sunday to be or saturday to be taken holiday they want holiday but these girls yes. even they want to come on sunday wow <laughs> maybe the environment is so good that you are taking care a uh, good care of them and uh, they have you have made them a part of the family i believe absolutely absolutely. absolutely and moreover on every friday uh, lunch we all have okay. together and my wife uh, madhvi uh, she cooks you know for all of us Wonderful. so we all sit, so we all sit together we'll have we chit chat we exchange we also try to understand their you know uh, their you know issues you know uh you know and uh, if there any things you know which we can suggest them you know you know we always you know mentor them you know and tell them what is right what is wrong so it will be have right. a very good interaction and they feel very comfortable and whenever they they work in the uh in the factory you know they play loud music so they enjoy that music you know and they feel at home actually right and absolutely it's like they're more comfortable than home because even at home the parents won't allow allow to you know blast the music okay <laughs> here you know you know factory we allow them to blast the music so that you know they are very happy you know because they are all young kids actually you know they are from run from 19 years to 23 years in between you know some of them are married some of them are you know uh, not married you know right so, i understand so so yes. they feel very comfortable and uh, it's very important as a entrepreneur as a, a business owner you know the both the the employer and employee should be happy true it sir. is not one it is not one way hmm so the the one way situation is very bad if it is one way if the only the employer is happy if the employee is not happy you know there lot of turn around of the employees will happen right absolutely sir sir i have a question for you very important question so you sir. have been to different countries and india is one of the motherland where you really came back because you wanted your children and you wanted to belong to this and get back to the roots right so moving on to that so what is the difference that you have found bef- between different countries and within our country and what is that that you wanted to try to bring about a change in our country that is missing over here see uh the first thing good about uh, us especially is the work culture yes they take the work very seriously okay whether in terms of uh, you, you see the uh, the timing okay um, checking in checking out of the office number one and the the, mm-hmm. the dedication at which they work they give 100% okay, okay. they work really 8 hours you know seriously with lot of commitment absolutely okay. so uh, that's what i really learned 
uh, in US, you know, when you are actually checked into office, you know, your focus has to be on to your work. Okay, that's a good thing what I what what I have learned. And the second good thing I've learned when I was in Bangkok is basically you have to basically respect and believe your own people. I will give a small okay. example. I used to travel to a lot yeah. of countries every week, you know. And when I the embassy needs for the visa, I need to get a letter from my boss, who is an American sitting in Singapore. Okay, so he used to write okay. a letter to the embassy of that, you know. But the embassy used to tell the Thai embassy to tell that this particular letter has to be signed by a Thai person, and the guy okay. who is going to sign is my junior, whom I have appointed. Okay. Right. <laughs> and, and the embassy, embassy used to call the Thai person, and they used to speak in the Thai language and confirm that the, yes, he is a person who is working here. True, so you sir. see the here. You know, first you have to believe your own people. True, sir. Very much true. That's very That's important. Most important. See, the, unlike in India, you know, we don't believe our own people. You know, we hmm. we, we try to believe somebody else. Correct. Trust factor is a problem. <laughs> Trust factor is That's a problem. Something. True. Yeah, and and uh, coming back to the 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 in the US, the culture is basically I felt it's very mechanical. Okay. Okay. Monday Monday to Friday, same routine. Okay, and uh, then uh, waiting every every uh, waiting for the weekend, Friday weekend, and you know Saturday Sunday, you know you have your you know the daily you know chores. you know uh, to do okay then from monday uh, from sunday afternoon you get this monday blues yes from monday you know we have to go because the the work is so serious the work culture is so serious you know uh, you have to be uh, make sure that you are prepared for the your monday so it's it's it okay. i felt it's very very routine okay number one number two is basically in terms of your interaction okay uh will be very limited you know you will be you know interacting with your own uh you know uh fellow indians mostly you know in terms of you know though you wanted to uh, though you have friends american friends you know uh, they have hmm. their own limitations in terms of uh you know at the at the at the back at the back end they have that particular uh, discrimination you know so you cannot yes. really though you want to become very close to them you know really you can't right so so as long as, however long you stay in a in a country like us you know and even you get you even you become a citizen still you are a second grade citizen true sir okay so yes. uh, this, though discrimination uh, as per the law it's not right but you know that's there in their mind you know something which is there in in somebody's mind you know it's very difficult to take it out hmm right okay and another important thing is when my kids when they grow and they, when they get married to a you know american then all my roots have gone you know mm. <laughs> so you know they True. they would like to stay back in us you know there is no point because my heart will be here because i am born in india okay i would like to come back but when they when they grow when they grow and they, when they get married uh, to other nationalities you know they may like to settle back in us so that was another right, factor sir. which which i was thinking so what i what i say is whenever anybody who goes to any country you know and would like to settle you know i personally feel that uh, at some point of time they should always come back because staying in another country is getting onto a giant wheel and you cannot sit in on the giant wheel for your entire life true sir very much motherland is mother motherland and uh, a country like india i think uh, Uh, with so much of heritage and culture you know i think uh, no country can beat it absolutely nobody can no country can match with our country's culture people you know i mean uh, basically it's so beautiful in our country when you travel anywhere you can talk to anybody you know you can start a discussion with any unknown person which is not possible in any other country right absolutely okay, so sir that's the, that's the beauty i know we have the uh, uh, biggest forum for cross culture communication understanding different cultures and uh, rural india that's the best part of uh, what we have in our country correct and we we should be really proud that we are indians and thank you for 
saying that sir because usually i see many people when they come back from different countries they usually don't really what do you say get uh, attached to their country and they say that that is better but you are the first person and you are saying that india is better than any country and we india really are good than in any other country any other country actually no country True, can sir. be in the, in whatever you say you know see when you say a uh, uh, freedom say in us they say it's a it's a country with lot of freedom it's absolutely nonsense and it's absolutely wrong okay true sir true the country which has got complete freedom is india yes sir absolutely okay so we can go anywhere we can talk to anybody you know we can do anything you know whatever you want you know which is not yes. possible in any other country they have lot of restrictions lot of restrictions true sir very much true so moving on uh, you don't mind uh, like explaining how the uh, what do you say how does the production really work in uh, vistarakur like how does it start off from the raw material to the finished product absolutely absolutely i'll be very much uh, uh, interested to explain you see basically first of all let's understand there are three materials involved in making vistarakur product first okay. thing is the leaf see the currently the leaf what we are using is called as siali leaf which we are which is grown in the forest of orissa uh, chatisgarh madhya pradesh and maharashtra so right now okay. we are procuring the the leaf from orissa forest okay there are certain agencies mm -hmm. we have tied up with agencies so the the we get a stitch leaves so the leaf is stitched in the two ways one with the straw okay uh, other mm -hmm. with the basically on the uh, sewing machine with the thread the two forms okay Okay, that is one material. So this the diameter will range from thirteen inch to around about typically fourteen or fifteen inches. The but diameter of the leaf. That's one first raw okay. material. The second raw material is basically two ply cardboard. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the third material is a, a craft sheet. Okay. So so these are the three materials which goes. So in terms of the process, once the uh, we we take the two ply cardboard. and with the tamarind gum we stick the uh, the craft sheet to the two ply cardboard so it becomes okay. three ply so we are making more stronger to it right fine absolutely then we, basically then we cut into sizes so we have different sizes starting from 12 inch buffet plate 11 inch buffet plate then you have a 10 inch breakfast plate 8 inch 7 inch and 6 inch then after that we have a 6 inch and 4 and 1/2 inch bowls okay okay so once uh, the uh, the craft sheet is uh, pasted to the two ply cardboard then it is cut into sizes okay then each size cardboard is taken and you keep the 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 leaf on top of it and you put it into the the hydraulic presses which has okay. got various dies depending upon the size and at a 70 to 80 degrees temperature we press these plus particular leaves leaf and the cardboard so that you know uh, at the at that heat it gets uh you know uh, stick to the the cardboard and you know uh, it is properly trimmed and cut and form the shape right and after I'm that we, looking, and we pack them in a pack of quantity of 25 you know in a mm -hmm. 50 plus micron uh, uh plastic sheet so as a part okay. of our research we are also planning to avoid this particular plastic you know as we go forward mm -hmm. okay right sir uh, so basically what is the shelf life of these products of uh, these the shelf products being manufactured this shelf the shelf life of this product is basically uh, it can be uh, easily it can be up to one year mm -hmm. okay right so it's basically like uh, what are the different uh, range of products you manufacture like uh, does it come to different plates or different things as well different different i mean sizes as i told you different sizes Okay. So we right. have a 12 inch okay. plate. We have a 11 inch plate. So for mm -hmm. breakfast we have okay. a 10 inch, 8 inch. Okay. We have 7 inch and 6 inch plates. Then we also have mm -hmm. the bowls for the uh, dessert bowls uh, or the soup bowls. We can use it as four and a half inch as well as six inch. Right. So uh, it's basically you can wash it as well. After you eat, you can wash it. So no, I like... mean definitely you can wash it, but these are all but the single use only. Okay. All right. Got it. Right. Uh, so basically, how does your network work in the hotel industry, sir? To the restaurants, supplying the restaurants and everything. 
I mean now saying that current COVID nineteen is there. Okay, mm-hmm. now people are looking towards hygienic factors. Most important thing, you being a bio a biodegradable product. How do you really look into the uh, domain of this uh, restaurant industry? See, uh, the actually there is a great demand in the restaurants actually, but okay. you know, uh, see what is happening. What is happen hap- happening is basically. uh the restaurants uh the high end restaurants are using the you know different tableware whether it's a, it could be steel tableware or it could be porcelain tableware right if you talk about you know five star restaurants three star restaurants you know they don't go with this kind of material okay so okay. this is basically addressed at a you know uh, small uh, restaurants okay but for them you know they are used uh to uh the the cost is is coming into a big play so typically a 12 inch paper plate may cost them around about 2 rupees for example or the best quality okay. may cost them 3 and 1/2 rupees all right okay so ours will be okay. costing the 12 inch will cost around about between 5 rupees to 5 rupees 50 paisa mm-hmm. so all uh, right this particular uh, mindset has to change and it will take some time true okay so yes. they 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 are not very comfortable to pay at this point of time you know either 5 rupees or 5 and 1/2 rupees okay so okay. though in spite our profit margin is very very less mm. okay for example per plate we may get around about 10 to 15 paisa you know as okay. a profit margin so mm-hmm. right now okay. we are just just we are trying to be sustainable right okay, okay. so the, the, the because it, this is a social enterprise this is not a commercial enterprise the whole purpose yes. is is to do do some something from our part to the mother earth by not polluting true so that is yes. the intention with which this has whole thing has started absolutely sir so when it comes to networking of your product okay i mean uh, it comes to the supplies and um, connecting with different uh, retailers out there the market so how do you like connect is it within only telangana or like different states or is it uh, internationally you look forward yeah it's a good question so basically we are not resting ourselves to any region as such in telangana okay. we are supplying to couple of uh, uh, big grocery chains okay mm-hmm. uh like vmart and sampurna super stores these are the stores and okay. recently we got tied up with walmart we have got registered with walmart oh, wonderful okay? okay so that's a that's a big uh, thing so uh, that will push lot of our product every month okay mm-hmm. and the second thing is as we live uh, we have a good as we live in a gated community previously okay so we have a good yes. gated community network so a lot of okay. people from the gated communities they order for their functions that is second okay level. okay now after okay. this covid actually after this covid <laughs> basically lot of inquiries are coming from the organic stores True. that they would like to go with our product they are asking for the dealership distribution ship you know so that is a big wave which is coming almost from every True. district of telangana you know there are a lot of inquiries coming and even a lot of people from the north you know they are calling us and you know they are they are asking for the samples to send so right now we are sending the samples to them now coming back to okay. the international market right now we got uh, an order from uh, us virginia okay mm-hmm. so right now uh, as i've seen the our stock you know it's got piled up so the whole uh, material is ready we are doing the paperwork hopefully by next week you know we will be shipping to Virginia US half a country wonderful sir by ship and congrats on your first consignment of that true thanks so uh, real and really happy for you and uh, good luck you. with that i hope uh, what you trying to do as a small part expands at a very large scale and people get to know one day about it that's the biggest uh, part of it sir so what are the different recognitions and uh, how is the government recognized uh, vistarku as of now Uh, basically um, uh, we have uh, we were invited by a lot of government uh, departments and agencies where we went and presented our product because they came to know through the social network 
our main marketing tool is social network whether it could be instagram or the it could be facebook or through whatsapp right okay and uh, we are we were featured in the uh, the business insider new york okay so okay. that went well across the globe then we got a call from istanbul and they called on uh, for a seminar on sustainability products so right. myself and my wife uh, madhvi we both went to istanbul in february and uh, we presented our product which uh, you know got very good uh, you know acceptance uh, from the istanbul mm-hmm. the government and lot of uh, you know uh, companies who came for the you know that particular you know right. so it is gaining a lot of momentum okay and uh, hopefully uh, in couple of months i think you know uh, we should have we should be having uh, pretty good orders true sir you will be having that and i can assure you that so moving on a little bit we're going to talk about some obstacles what you face with regards to this raw material so this is the palash leaf which you grow right and uh, what are the climatic conditions that is really required for it and uh, what is the uh, what are the chances that it can have lot of damage to it what type of uh, damage and how do you look forward to protect it in terms uh, of chemicals and uh, i mean man use when you use uh this is a very good question shreyas what is happening unfortunately this palash tree which is grown in telangana state okay yes, sir. what's happening is uh, the farmers don't recognize this as a useful tree hmm. so a farmer who is producing paddy cotton or maize okay hmm. if he is having a palash tree in his particular field he will immediately he'll cut it away right okay yes, so sir. that way there is a lot of uh, destruction you know deforestation happening as per the palash is concerned okay mm. so we are trying to uh, talk to the the telangana government you know uh, to see actually you know how we can protect this tree because this is the this is the, a good ayurvedic tree every part of it can be utilized whether it's a bark or Absolutely. its root or its leaf is completely ayurvedic true Okay, hello. Government that yeah. you know, that right. if they can yeah. is hundred acres or two hundred acres, you know we wanted to actually grow palash. Hmm. You know we wanted to put the saplings of palash, and we would like to grow so that you know there will be good sustainability as we go forward because this grows within six to eight months and start giving the. Mm-hmm. Uh, the okay, so as a part of that okay. particular. as a part of that particular measure because we have a 25 acre farm we are planning for a at least 5000 to 10000 saplings to be planted this year all along the border two to three rows so that at least vistara ko become sustainable yes okay, okay. So, uh you know sustainability we are looking at as as to see as the business continuity is very important right because what yes, happened sir. actually because what happened because of this uh, single use plastic ban there's a lot of uh, demand for this particular leaf whether it's a palash or siyale leaf there is a very big demand and uh, uh, the rates have doubled actually the leaf rates have doubled actually okay okay especially right. siyale leaf uh, gives uh, livelihood for more than 1 lakh tribals you know across these states mhm Okay. The blocking for the harvesting of these leaves because they are grown in the forest. This is a creeper basically. Siyali is a is a creeper. Okay. Creeper. So, uh, sir, I have a, a question for you. Now, when we see that today we are already in that stage of where global warming is happening today, the earth yep. is not kind of stable. Many uh, unexpected earthquakes, tsunamis, many things are really happening because it's something which we all as a whole have. Uh, Uh, what do you say uh, mean caused damage to the planet as a whole but how do you see for the availability of these palash trees in next 20 to 30 years in the future see uh, basically uh, it's very important is one thing is awareness program is very important mm. because today the farmer is not well informed the benefits of the palash tree okay, okay? not only the uh, the farmers even the government officials whether they are from the horticulture sector or from the uh, from other agriculture sector you know 
they are okay. not even that much you know aware of that and as such there is not much focus on that okay so we are talking to the government officials that how we can really you know protect this particular wonderful tree it's called also called as a forest fire the right. the actually the 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 flower which comes out of this palash you know is you make and make very good juice you know and it's very expensive and it's it, it has got a lot of health benefits mm absolutely okay. so so plantation is a very important aspect and protect protecting the existing forest the palash forest okay. are very very important okay and and the other important what i feel is basically in terms of uh, global warming you know our uh, we also run i also run an ngo called gandipet welfare society okay mm. where we do the okay. the where we process the the wet waste and dry waste okay so today dry waste has become hazard and also the cause one of the causes for the global warming because it has got plastic it has got metal you know uh, it has got uh, uh, the glass it has got uh, various kinds of uh, you know uh, unable to process uh, the uh, the plastic you know which is thrown everywhere okay yes, and which, which which cannot be you know decomposed which is not compostable and these are thrown into the rivers you know uh, and the lakes and into the ocean so that's the reason we started uh, this particular ngo 5 years back and uh, okay. we have set up five solid waste management composting units uh, mm-hmm. in and around hyderabad in five villages and one we have also established in kunur in tamil nadu okay okay so where we process so the the dry and wet waste is segregated at the source okay and we we collect the separated and the wet waste is turned into a compost through open aerobic process and the dry waste basically we give it to the different vendors they come and pick up the vendors and do the recycling so okay. it's not only it's, it's it's very important see basically when you look at the global warming personally i feel plastic is the single use plastic is creating a big hazard for the global warming and especially right. to the marine life so yes, it's sir. very important it's very important for every citizen every world citizen you know to take responsibility whenever they are using a single use plastic how it has to be properly disposed is very very important unfortunately people who travel in big cars like merc and bmw when they go on the highways they just throw away the you know those bottles away from their car so i True, feel sir. that the message i would like to give is you know educated person has to take lot of responsibility when it comes to the environment you all should be you know take care that this mother earth belongs to us you know and we have to protect in whatever way we can do every person has to think and and act and behave you know uh in that way otherwise it's very difficult difficult because we have come to a situation that you know we are on the on the brink you know of completely spoiling the mother earth yes sir you right. said there are tsunamis earthquakes happening why is happening you know because we are the we are the uh, human Once beings responsible are, True. exactly you know when you look at the animals birds they know they don't spoil the the environment you know those small creatures those those unintelligent creatures okay they don't spoil the mother earth but we call ourselves very intelligent you know and we have a lot of big egos you know bigger than our mother earth and then we do all kinds of nonsense <laughs> right sir so i uh, add on to that point as all of you know that now in the current scenario which is lockdown nature is also reviving its, its at its own course so that when you can yes. see that today all animals all the birds out there you can see i can still hear some boat voices which i used to not really listen to them when it was being crowded because i stay in one of the crowded main roads out there in chennai okay. and that's okay. something great about uh, nature today so uh, coming to the very last question of this uh, wonderful live session what we had could you like please tell us all of us out here what do you look forward to expand uh, vistaraku in the future and uh, what is your plans that you have taken uh vistaraku basically uh, i request so when you look at the the normal paper paper plate manufacturing companies 
there are in thousands in every city if it is yes, hyderabad there are more than 10000 manufacturing units who are making the the normal paper plates which are coated with the plastic okay the companies like vistaraku there are hardly maybe three or four companies in entire hyderabad right so my first thing is as far as vistaraku is concerned we want to encourage the young entrepreneurs to come forward and take this product okay and uh, suppose for example shreyas in uh, in madras in chennai okay you know i want him to you know look at see if they if they can you know uh, uh, make this product okay and you know uh, see that whatever the best he can do in terms of his yeah so uh, basically my message is basically i want to uh, encourage all the young entrepreneurs to get into products like this not only the product like vistaraku but any eco friendly product you know for example we use the plastic straws you know why you want to use plastic straw you know use something biodegradable straw you know True. like that there are so many simple daily use products you know which can be which you can make in a sustainable way that's important absolutely As sir vistaraku is concerned we wanted to you know basically expand in different cities you know with the collaboration like people like shreyas <laughs> thank you sir thank you well uh, you guess the reality of what i was going to propose after this call that i wanted to ask you whether i can take it in chennai because uh 20 minutes before was with there my dad and your wife chatting on the uh, on the live out here that they wanted to have some plans of expanding it out in chennai or here so that's the best part of it of uh, connecting with you so i guess i had a great live with you sir and saying that we were being restricted to one hour and instagrams don't provide us more than one hour for live sessions it was really uh, wonderful to come on live with you and also taking a visit of your uh, workspace out there so i really loved it so thank you so much for that thank you shreyas thanks for this opportunity and really pleasure talking to you and i really appreciate uh, a young boy like you you know taking so much of responsibility Thank you, you know sir. and uh, you know bringing the and making people aware there are such products you know which are so eco friendly and they have the option to use them and i look forward for you you know to take our product you know and uh, sure, in fact sir. one one young uh, guy who is already taking in chennai his name is saravanan okay oh, so he's okay. he's already taking that but you know uh, chennai as a city needs you know more and more absolutely Right, there is a lot of opportunity. So people like people like companies like Vistaraku, even there are thousand companies, you know, cannot cater to all the people in India and the world. So we right, need sir. more. So we need more Vistaraku companies. True, sir. Very much true. And we will surely look forward that I can try creating a youth power out here with my support to you, and really uh, look forward that we can take this forward in a very big way. So. and dear friends uh, to the ones who attended the live thank you so much for participating in today's discussion and i'm really sorry if you couldn't take your questions due to a uh, lack of time but please do forward it to sir and uh, please do look into his profile it's really great and uh, i recently saw one of your videos uh, which i could post on the story which i couldn't wait for the music was so good the way you create a holistic environment out there so hats off to you on that sir thank you so much and uh, Uh, and uh, i please do look into my hashtag interact live with shreyas for more well being sessions and i look forward to connect with different entrepreneurs in the society like you thank you on that thank note. you you are doing great job shreyas jai hind most welcome sir thank you so much have a great evening you too bye 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 hi guys i hope you all uh, had a great live and you really enjoyed it for the ones who visited and uh, thanks please do look into my uh, profile oh thank you so much ma'am most welcome on that and i really uh, i hope you all uh, uh, had a great time and uh, thank you so much on that for coming for this live please do look into my profile and support for me for more lives and uh, to connect with different people in the society so tomorrow we have another live with a very a uh, unique person in the society who's trying to make a change a very young person so that's going to be a suspense for now so please do stay tuned on my stories and uh, posts so it's just few more lives left for this month and uh, thank you so much looking forward to you all have a great evening see you all